Well, we did have some storms rumble through the region late today, but the storms gave way to a beautiful evening. Yeah, check out the time lapse video captured by Ryan Whitaker shortly before sunset in Kenosha. The thick clouds above the marsh grasses waving in the warm breeze. Cool picture, huh, Scott Steele? Uh, yeah, uh, you're talking weather. I was just taking notes on winning the lottery. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Oh, we better talk weather. Yeah, I mean, what a day we had. George, Carol, hail hitting a large part of our viewing area. Thank goodness, nothing terribly severe. There was one severe thunderstorm warning uh, in Dodge County very briefly, but even that was quickly canceled. This wonderful video sent in by our viewer, Brian Skinner, East Troy, and he slowed it down so we could see the hail coming down there. You know, they say that variety is the spice of life, and we had it today in a big way. This picture courtesy of Mike Ryan, our producer's son, Gregory from Pewaukee, holding the hail that he saw. It was about penny size or a little larger there. Meantime, as the storms moved out, an abundance of rainbow shots flowing into the weather center. Our viewers are great at that. Mara Robichaud in Wales sending in this beautiful shot of that picturesque rainbow. And Kathleen Briggs, one of our loyal viewers, sending in this incredible sunset picture of the reflection of the sunlight on the departing clouds. Rainfall, well, we picked up quite a variety of totals as well in the rain gauges, as much as three tenths of an inch from our longtime observer Ken and Racine, but as little as trace amounts up to the north in Fond du Lac and Sheboygan counties. And we go back up to the north in Port Washington, where right now it is dry, looking down Main Street and downtown Port picturesque setting there in your weather headlines. Get ready to dodge more drops as we head through the day tomorrow. That tops your weather headlines. A bit breezy again and a dip down in temperatures. It'll be a little chilly compared to where we were over the weekend. Outside right now, 61 degrees. For you find folks joining us in West Bend and Waukesha, also in Beaver Dam. 62 in Fondy and still 65 degrees in Milwaukee's Mitchell. The dew points in the mid-50s, that's a very comfortable level with low humidity. One of the big reasons, a west-northwest breeze that is calming down. As we widen out the view, notice the negative tilt to the atmosphere, counterclockwise swirl up to our north, low pressure pulling away, high pressure down to our southwest. The difference between the two brings the breezy conditions. We've got clearing skies coming soon in this little dry slot, but Another wave is on the way. It's about 400 miles away, and that's what will trigger more showers and storms tomorrow. Across southeastern Wisconsin right now, here comes the clearing. Future forecast shows that's how we start the day tomorrow with plenty of sun. But by mid-morning, some rain rolls in, and I think it continues through the early evening hours before departing, leading to a wonderful Wednesday. So your storm team forecast for tonight. Skies eventually becoming mainly clear. It'll be mild down to 56, and for tomorrow, we start with sun eventually becoming partly cloudy. Cool, a bit breezy, up to 71 with scattered rain and storms. Here comes your storm team for seven day forecast. Get ready, my friends, for a wonderful Wednesday. Brighter and drier near 74 degrees. Thursday, the muggies move back in. It becomes a little warm and humid near 81 degrees with more wet weather. That wet weather departs early Friday, and I think most of Friday actually turns out to be pretty nice.